All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm not filming with my big camera, which I usually use, and I didn't set up all my lights, but I did wanna sit down and film a video, basically talking about my NBR extensions, how I style them, how I wash them, all that fun stuff. So I figured that I would just kinda sit down and wash my hair for you guys because I rarely ever wash my hair anymore it's like weird to say but it's always a good day when you do wash your hair like you feel like a new woman um so I just tanned and I also my tan was like coming off so if you guys see my armpits they look funny just don't pay attention to them but I sit down and share with you guys what I do to my hair and all that fun stuff um so yeah I'm filming on the vlog camera today I just wanted it to be a quick not Probably, it's not, probably not gonna be a quick video. It's gonna be at least 30 minutes, but I'm gonna try to not talk as much and I'm gonna try to speed up some good parts, put some good music in there for you guys. But I just wanted to let you guys know that's why it looks a little different. Probably sounds different too, um, but I love using my vlog camera. I love vlogging and I love just this camera in general. And I've never filmed a sit down video with it. Um, I typically use my big Canon 70D, which she's in the background over here down there, but she's charging right now. So I wanted to just use this. Um, hopefully this camera doesn't die. So if this camera dies, we will use the 70D. Um, sorry, I took a shower and I usually wash my hair every four to five days. But sometimes if I feel like it's dirty or if it really smells like work, then I like to wash it every two to three days. It really just depends. But since I've had the extensions, I find it that since the extensions themselves hold the curls a lot better than my natural hair, my hair, like I can curl my hair, which I'm gonna show you guys how I do, and it will literally stay curled the entire time I don't wash my hair. So I find it really easy and convenient for me because I'm not having to do my hair every single day instead of like washing it, then my hair naturally is super like curly and, and has a lot of volume. So I don't really like the way my hair looks when it is not styled. So since getting NVR, I have straightened it once, but every week I do curl my hair and it's just something that I feel like I really enjoy. Um, I kind of retired my wand and I did get a new curling iron. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the products and talk to you guys about what I'm using on my hair before we get started. Um, and yeah, so I'm definitely out of breath because I just ran to my bathroom three different times to grab everything. But I did wanna say, usually for my hair, I use this Revlon blow drying brush. I don't know exactly what it's called, but that's what I call it. Well, my hair girl told me, and as well as people tell you when you get MBR, it's not good to like pull on it so much with um, like brushes and stuff like that. You can kind of like, I think it's called like strip the hair or stretch it and you want to keep it as in good condition as you can because you do have to replace your NBR extensions every couple of months. Um, it's been a month for me and my hair is doing great. I actually get my hair done a week from tomorrow so I'll keep you guys posted but as of right now my hair girl said that my extensions look good. Um, I went in between to get a tone because I just can't stand my hair being yellow and she doesn't advise that you do use purple shampoo on your hair, but if you do, you should like dilute it with your shampoo, which I don't do because I, I feel like, I mean, I leave it on for a long time, but it hasn't changed my extension color very bad, so I think we're good, but I'm not doing my makeup in this video. I already did my makeup. I still need this vanity in my face for my hair, but um, I'll show you guys. Uh, when I get out of the shower, when my hair is wet or damp, I like to use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is just like the small one that you get at Target for like 20 bucks. This product is like my holy grail. I absolutely am obsessed, but I'm out of it right now and I need to get more when I go get my hair done. This is the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde Repairing Shine Treatment for Blondes. So this is basically like a shine spray. It smells so good, I love it. My mom does not like the smell of it, but I personally do. It just kind of gives you that like salon smell on your hair. Once you get your hair done, you guys know that smell. Other wash, I like to use a hair mask. It does get really dry, so I like to use a hair mask. This is so wet, because I just obviously took a shower. But this is the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Treatment Mask. This is like my holy grail mask that I use. So for shampoo and conditioner, a lot of people ask me, what do you use to wash your hair? Well, I stopped using all of the drugstore, um, like shampoos, Tresemme and all that stuff. I don't use any of those anymore. Um, and now I kind of switch off between Kevin Murphy and this brand called Unite, which I don't really love the Unite, but it is, I don't know. I don't know much about this brand, but I am not a fan of it because it doesn't smell that good. But I do feel like it really, really keeps my hair clean. Um, gets all the buildup of the dry shampoo out and the oils so I bought both of these and I just think that they're really small and they don't last very long 
and they also don't smell that good but these are the ones that I do use as of right now but before that I was using the Kevin Murphy hydrate me uh, wash and rinse which I love these as well but they are so freaking expensive to me these are $30 a bottle or $36 a bottle and um, I used this matrix so silver shampoo and this is $30 so $30 a piece versus one a bottle that's 33 ounce, 33.8 ounces is kind of like, dang, that's expensive, but like you want to have good quality shampoo for your hair and your extensions, so I feel like it's kind of worth it, but it is pricey. I love the smell of all Kevin Murphy's products. They are amazing. Um, I can purchase the bigger bottles, but she has to like order them for me and then I can get them and then I just pay more for a bigger bottle, which is what I'm doing now because... Um, I kind of just don't want to spend 30 something dollars on these little baby uh, 8.4 fluid ounce bottles but they smell really good these are really good for traveling so if you're traveling like me next or next week I'm traveling to New York so I'm gonna be purchasing I would purchase like a smaller bottle if I knew I was gonna travel so that way you kind of have a more compact shampoo and conditioner and it takes up less space um, that's so, sh so silver shampoo from matrix I really like I just got it um, but I wanted as actual silver shampoo but I ended up just getting uh, that and I actually really like it. it takes a lot of the yellow out and it makes my hair look really good I kind of struggle with these front pieces right here they, they do stay pretty yellow but um, on my non washing hair days I like to basically take like this little section right here and pin up the rest of my hair I'll have it in my braids like I do at night because I sleep with braids and I'll basically just purple shampoo this whole section right here and leave it in my hair for like 30 minutes and then that way that whole front part is very purple so anyways enough rambling about all that stuff but yeah it definitely helps keep these pieces pretty blonde uh, because these are the pieces that really bothered me with them not being as blonde as I want them to be and thinking that I'm yellow even though my hair girl is like girl like you're so icy blonde but I'm like I see yellow my customers at work are they're just like your hair's so blonde but I'm just like I think like the day you get it done and it's toned and it's done it just looks super blonde but after that it kind of has like its natural own like blondish yellow tone to it but these front pieces like I said I just like keeping them light especially because when I wear makeup I get makeup all in my hairline and it makes it look dark but anyway enough rambling I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair this is my mom's blow dryer just like a random I don't even know the brand of this blow dryer I think it's like a Revlon one or something like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair as much as I can heat protectant I really love using this hot toddy before ironing heat protectant mist by dry bar this stuff smells so good reminds me like I'm at the salon so I use this I love it I'm actually gonna go to Ulta and pick up the dry bar dry shampoo because I haven't tried it and this is the dry shampoo I've been using for the past like three months and I'm out of it and I actually really don't like the smell so I want to get a new one and I just saw that they have one on Ulta I was looking on Ulta last night and I was like oh my god they have like a freaking dry shampoo so I'm gonna get that but this is the one I'm gonna use and then the SGX um, dry touch volumizing dry shampoo this is the purple one this is fresh jasmine and fig leaf scent so I'm not a fan of it but it does its job and I love it so I've used this entire bottle and I don't think I've ever finished a dry shampoo but this stuff does its job so I like it just I don't like the smell um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just mist this all over my hair I really love this I love the smell and I feel like it like wears in my hair for a while so It does kind of give some texture to your hair like it kind of feels like you have hairspray in it just a tiny bit but I'm not I don't really care so I have so much hair now I have to make sure that I, I'm getting all of my hair because you know we want to protect it from the heat and then I'll brush my hair and then section it and dry it for hairspray I've literally been using this hairspray this Pantene uh, extremely stronghold hairspray for like ever me and my best friend both use this and we're just like obsessed but some people don't have it I think I used to get it at Target or Rayleigh's some like random store but um, I like the smell of it and it definitely holds my curls well so that is it for products I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair and um, yeah I knew I was gonna ramble a lot in this video cuz you know we're talking about hair care here but I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair out as well I'm still loving this brush from Amazon if you guys are wondering uh, I lose a lot of hair now so that's fun uh, yeah 
I'm going to blow dry this hair. <laughs> as much as I could uh, my air my hair has been air drying for like an hour because I was doing my makeup after I showered so I haven't it wasn't like completely wet but I just uh, basically blow dried as much as I could dude my nails literally will not stop breaking like ugh. anyways so yeah I blow dried as much as I could um, I'm gonna try to show you guys you see this is all of my hair it goes like pretty much almost to my butt these are 18 inches. Yeah, these are 18 inches, 5'2", and my hair girl told me that depending on the, the, the size, or the amount of hair you get and how tall you are, depends on what, or determines whether you're gonna have more hair or not. Like, you being short or tall really determines like how much or where the length would be on you. But I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my own at-home blow is like what I like to call it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I do this because it makes my hair extremely soft, gives it some volume and it brushes it out. So my hair is extremely soft. So when I curl it, it just makes it look a lot less frizzier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I really love this. I'll link it down below. I think they have like two different colors. They have this one and then they have the mint blue one. But I love this one and I don't use it all the time, but when I do want to give myself my at-home blowout, I like to use this. So, I just finished um, blow drying my hair for as good as I could feel. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I didn't really like try to make it perfect because obviously I'm getting ready to curl it so I just wanted to make it as dry as possible and get the front pieces straight and I feel like this really helps with frizziness too since my hair is so volumized and it gets really frizzy after I wash it and if I don't blow dry like if I just let it air dry so um I don't know I love the way my hair looks it's very shiny and very soft and it smells delicious um so yeah heat protect is already in but you can spray a little bit more if you want I try not to section my hair that much when it comes to curling it because I just feel like I can kind of just grab now. Like the sections are so long, like kind of seems like a lot of hair, but the sections are so long that I feel like I don't feel the need to, um, I don't feel the need to have to do that. So um, I just like to make sure my hair is nice and combed through so that the curls are nice and soft and smooth. Um, I, I want to say my only thing uh, with MBR is I don't like how my under hairs, like under here, like these little neck baby hairs that I have, these ones, these are mine. These get like so matted sometimes when I have my hair down. So usually they recommend you sleep with a low pony or with braids. So that's usually what I do to keep those like hairs like attached or like snatched up all night so they don't just like get all crazy. Cause I feel like I be sleeping wild sometimes. I wake up and my hair is like a fucking mess and like I have to brush it a lot more than I usually am used to because your hair like in between the two wefts too is like kind of, it can get like tangled or whatever. So I'm constantly brushing my hair. I put my shine spray, which I'm out of, so I haven't. I put this on every single night and every single morning. Um, I use my dry shampoo every time I don't wash my hair. And I don't touch up my curls usually unless I'm like going out and my hair has been curled like two days ago, then I will like kind of touch up the front pieces. But other than that, I feel like it's really easy. Um, I don't really like washing it. It takes forever because I like to section where the wefts are since there's two. So imagine like this is my head, there's two wefts. So I like to like section the top half off so I can wash in between and then underneath each weft. That way I feel like my scalp is actually getting clean and my own hair and not just like the surface. Even if your shampoo is like running through your hair, I still feel like you need to get in there and around, especially because there's so much oil buildup if you don't wash your hair every single day. Um, but those are like my tips, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been loving them ever since. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure my hair is sectioned like just in half, just like this. 
and I saved the front pieces for last. Those are my favorite pieces. I don't know if they're ever anybody else's, but I just kind of like start from as far back as possible and I take the tiniest sections of hair. I'm using this curling iron. I know nothing about it. I don't know the size, but the name is the is this I don't even know I'm so horrible but this is the curling iron that I bought from my hairstylist and it has a clamp I absolutely love it now that I finally know how to actually use it that's why I put this video off since I got them because I could not figure out how to curl my hair with this you guys know if you know me personally you know you've been watching me for a while you know that I have been using a wand since like fifth grade and that's all I've ever used on my own hair I don't know how to do anything else so when I bought this I was like oh god I had to like train myself for like three and a half weeks for like two weeks to figure out how to even freaking do it um, but yeah I take a section like this big and I usually just tuck my front pieces so they're out of my way um, this section's a little bit damp but I'm just gonna run my fingers through it um, but yeah I make the sections like perfectly not even but just make sure they're like flat and perfect I guess um, and I've learned to do the clamp um, inward this side and then outward the other way that's just how i've learned to do it um and i like to run my hair through the clamp a couple times to warm it up that's what my hair lady told me to do um and then i kind of just bring it halfway up just like that twirl it you're gonna have like this whole section of hair right here that's gonna hang out and i just keep like dragging it down until like that much of it is in and then a little bit more and then just roll it up and I go as kind of as close and I hold it for a good like 10 to 15 seconds um, this section was kind of wet so it's kind of weird I feel like it's not gonna like hold the curl but that is how I roll it up normally underneath in the back is kind of damp when I do it or just in general it stays more damp because I have a lot of hair and it's hard to like get under there and, and all that stuff so I leave my hair clamped in there and then I kind of just pull it down and let the ends kind of run through like that and normally it doesn't look exactly like that but like because it's wet cause it, so it looks funny but I'll just run my fingers through that one so let's see if I can show you I'm just gonna show you this is my real hair right here so just run the curling iron over it go like in the middle of the curling iron you're gonna twirl it Good. I guess like depending on where you want your curl to be also if you want it like way up your head or if you want it like in the middle where your head doesn't is Shirley Temple curled like I like my curls being like right here and down front pieces is a little different because obviously the hair is shorter for me it's just my hair naturally um, but yeah just let it go let it twirl and do its thing and that's just how I do it all the way around my head curling my hair with this curling iron I could not figure out how to get the end pieces like in the curling iron and like I was curling it but only like this like this part mu this much of my hair was being curled and it was like so frustrating because I was like girl like she taught me how to do it twice and I was like how do you do it so I like did it I was in the middle of watching the last season of um what is it called oh my god in the dark I was watching it on Netflix and I just got home from work and I was like all right I'm gonna take a shower wash my hair or actually I think it was like day two of my hair but I didn't style it the day before because I was like I really need to learn how to like curl my hair and so I like did it. it took me an hour so it takes me an hour every single time I do it but I think even when my hair girl does it it takes her a little while too because when it's long I have thick hair and you want to make the curls perfect when she does it it turns out amazing my curls look a lot different when she does it kind of mine look the same like I feel like we all have like the same styled curl now because we all use this curling iron um, but I was just like struggling doing it and when she does it of course it looks like a little different and a little bit more perfect but this is my style of doing it I mean this is her style because like she does my hair like this she does all her clients hair like this but this is how I do it and my curls turn out a little bit different than when she does it but everyone does their hair like their own type of way but this is how I've noticed it works for me and maybe she does like a little bit smaller sections but I just freaking love the way it looks now and my hair doesn't get as frizzy and my hair my extensions hold the curl really well um so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go ahead and curl my whole entire head and i will be back you guys can sit here and watch a montage of me curling all of this hair <laughs>
these but you know what i don't make any money off these videos so that is totally okay with me all right this is one side of my head this is what the curls look like you guys can tell it's way different than when you curl it with the wand less frizzy a lot more volume and a better curl that is one side and this is the other we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of my head and then i will be right back because you guys just saw me do all this hair and now it's gonna be the same side same thing on this side um but yeah, I usually spray one side just to hold curl. I feel like it helps because like they're all still kind of warm. So I spray whatever I have left over in my shine spray bottle, um, which is probably nothing. A little bit. There's a little bit in there. Yes. All right. So we got some shine spray in there and then. A little bit of hairspray and just keep running your fingers through the hair that's the key that's all you do all right anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my head and I'll be right back so I just finished my hair this is what it looks like and it literally took me I don't know how long it took me this time but it looks really good I'm happy I did it like fresh clean and it's not on second day hair or third or fourth day hair usually I'll blow dry it and then sleep on it kind of damp or in braids and then curl it the next day by the time I like like I said I braided it or I curled it right when I did it um I wonder how you like I'm gonna leave it I'm not used to filming I'm just used to vlogging on it but yeah this is what my hair looks like and I think that it looks really really good but I wanted to show you guys how I curl it and how all right how i blow dry and all that fun stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful if you're deciding that you want to do mbr or if you have mbr and you don't know how to style it or how to take care of it and even think about getting them it's definitely worth the money i feel like um so yeah if you guys thought about getting nbr or wanting to know more about it uh that's like what i know i'm no expert but yeah that's this is what i deal with on the bases and this is how i do my hair and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys do subscribe down below. Make sure you hit that post notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.